Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and in today, oh my gosh, I haven't recorded for so long, trust me, so long. So, considering the new Jurassic World Evolution 2, which is coming out soon, Hopefully in October, I've been told. But I was going to do a video on 10, possibly 8 di dinosaurs the scientists could bring back to, back to life. But, first, I've got something to prepare. Okay guys, moving on to the first one, I am now going to start with the Parasaurolophus. This thing, right here, as you can see, has a long body, a thick tail, starting off thick and it has some kind of odd shaped end of its arms or in the dinosaur's case if you want deep scientific words a tonginus i have no idea how to spell that i've just heard that's the name of the parasaurolophus's arms the crest on its head is what it uses to sing out loud to its pack <clears throat> Or heard. So, this thing may be a harder due to a lot of its features to recreate, but scientists might eventually recreate this thing. Possibly. Okay, next is the Struthiomimus that I couldn't get to stand up, because <clears throat> it didn't want to. So, because of its le neck, it, it could take a while to get a full neck bone of it. The head probably would be easy, as it would, you wouldn't have to build the head. Then these tiny little bent arms. It's true that the, the Ganymimus actually didn't have arms like this. It would have to have broken one of its arms to be able to do this. Otherwise, it'd just have to be out straight and like curved. I don't know if any, I don't know if any of you could imagine that. Next, legs. These bad boys are designed for running. These two things here can make the Gallimimus run at least 40 mph. Next, the tail. This thing gives all of the balance it needs whilst it's running. And it's a good defence for dinosaurs chasing it behind it. As it has a nice, strong kind of skin at the end there. So, this thing might be a little less than the power over there. And maybe be a little easier. So, moving on to the next one.
one of the world's most famous dinosaurs, or herbivores, Triceratops. If the screen was to not go white. Oh well. So this thing has a heavy head. Even the toy does. Literally. Fun fact, um, this Triceratops actually had to constantly lift its head up. Uh, otherwise, if it, if it just gave up on force, it just flung to the ground. So this, this pose for it is quite good showing that fact. And this leg was actually bent back. So this gives it the ability to charge forward. And its head has like some kind of very thin joint to its body so it can do like move its head in any direction it wants and perform a powerful charge at the opponent anyways Moving on to a slightly, just very slightly easier one, the Diggy Moloch, it, more like the Won't Stand Up Moloch. Stand up so I can show you to the viewers. There we go. There you go. And she just fell over again. Darn it, Sticky. Anyways, so if you haven't heard of Sticky Moloch, it's one of the main stars of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. My favourite movie so far. And it's got incy bincy little chubby arms with these little fingers that were useless. Uh, that They just kind of helped it if it fell over, no, really. Um, these legs were bent back and they were slightly th a bit thicker than the, the Gallimimus. It technically has the same effect as the Gallimimus's legs. And if you want to know what the Gallimimus's effects on its legs are, then rewind the video. And its tail, pretty much same as the Gallimimus too. Moving on. The good old Staggy Boy. Yeah, that white effect's actually quite cool now. Um, this thing has a lot of pleated spikes and an armoured tail that could easily strike opponents with a lot of damage. <clears throat> this thing is the family leader to the, st to the stegopods, I think it's called. Um, this guy has legs tugging up tough enough for it to be able to stand on both of its back legs and slam down creating a smoky atmosphere if it, if it it was in a like kind of sandy place and it would just launch it forward so if there's a little compy there I think there's a compy so it does the thing and then my compy would have to run because it would get smoke in its eyes and it'd be blinded and yeah. So that's one, two, three, four. I think we've got time for one more left. So that's five dinosaurs. Right. The Ankylo yeah. has got a lot of armour which is so good for defence is in the Jurassic World movie the only weakness is being turned over because it loses its armour and that's where the chest is so where all of its organs are holding and everything <clears throat> and then the head also has spikes and the tail has a 
stone club strong enough to probably dent a cyber truck. So this thing is way stronger than a sledgehammer. Cyber, if you didn't know what cyber truck is, it's a pretty strong car and it's nearly invincible. So this thing is Sting's club. It hitting a T-Rex, or in my case, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, in the head. Boy, knocked out, boom, down. And it's pretty much armor travels everywhere, and its name means armor dinosaur, so, yeah. I guess that's it for today's video, guys. That's five dinosaurs, scientists might be able to bring back to life first. Bye!